afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Oakland A's. Stepping into the box, George Springer. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 1 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. All in all, a great afternoon for baseball. 73 degrees here at first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Loriano is underneath this one. One down. So striding in, Alex Bregman in his career against this pitcher. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Michael Brantley settles in to hit at the plate. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So striding forward now, Marcus Semyon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land out there just foul. The next 3-2. Hits this one hard the other way. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The second baseman. Tommy. At the plate now, Tommy Lostella. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Three and one now. Nobody out, runner on first. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Springer has a read on it. Makes the play one away. So a runner at first with one out now. And up next, the outfielder Steven Piscotti. Throw over to the bag. And another throw over. Oh, and it froze him, and they got him. Granky ready now. The 1-1. One, one. Hard on the ground towards short. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Into the box, Matt Chapman. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is Tucker. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. set for the start of the inning and digging into bat next the Cuban import Yuli Gurriel hit hard on the ground at first oh and it eats him up a bit and he'll step on first himself for the out so the bases are empty with one man gone and in to hit next will be the outfielder Kyle Tucker even at a ball and a strike here's the pitch Line to the right side. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. The three, two pitch. Pulled toward right center field. 
Loriano will range to his left and put it away. Two down. Ready now, Carlos Correa. They'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now the one and one pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. The Scotty's there for it. And that's the third out. Last half of the second set to go. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. The 2 1. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Striding forward now is the DH, Mark Hanna, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 2-1. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Next up for the A's, Robbie Grossman. They'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. The three and one pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Grossman, runner at first with two gone. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. So here's Josh Reddick as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And there's the first hit of the game for Houston. So now to the plate, Aledmus Diaz. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three and one. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Batting done. Striding in for Houston, Martin Maldonado. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he pops it up. And no one can get there as it falls. He'll come home with it. But not in time as he's across with the run. Now back. The center fielder. To the plate now, George Springer. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely, so I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Relay to Olsen, and they turn the double play. So a man at third here with two gone, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Alex Bregman. A one two pitch two outs here with a runner at third high fly ball out to straightaway center long run for the center fielder he tracks it down and that will end the inning. Standing in, Sean Murphy, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. Hit hard back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. In now, Marcus Semyon. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. And it's fouled away. 
A runner at first with no outs here. Grounded to third. This could be two. The second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Ready for another chance. Tommy LaStella, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out, nobody on. And this one's up around the eyes, 2 and 1. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have 3, 4, 5 do up to start the next inning. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Here's Michael Brantley as we begin the top of the fourth. The 1 1. Taken on the outside corner for strike two. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2 2. Line hard to the left side, but foul. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And there's a base hit on the line. The first paper, number 10. Into the box now, Yuli Gurriel. Skied into straightaway right. The Scotty's on the move. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So digging in now, Kyle Tucker flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Hit out towards second. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Standing in now, Carlos Correa. Into right field, that's a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Stepping in now, Josh Reddick. Lined hard toward right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. One run is scored. As he arrives at second without a play, as two runs come across to score away from the play. Into the box, Alidmus Diaz. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. Still only one out in the inning. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The 3-2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Next up for the Strohs, Martin Maldonado. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield would be a big one right here. Don't try and do too much. You know there's a potential base open right there. Maybe sit off speed. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And digging in is the outfielder, Stephen Piscotti. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Got him. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Chapman. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. 
Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. A swing and a miss for route number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Striding in for Oakland, Matt Olson. First two men in the Olson. inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and striding into bat next, it will be Mark Canna. Granke comes set. Here's the 1 1. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's 1 and 2. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Line toward center field. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, George Springer. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. So now to the plate, Michael Brantley. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Chris Bassett enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Yuli Gurriel will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. The 1-1 home. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Curveball just about brung him up, but it's to two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled away. set here's the three and two liner toward right center that gets down and he's got himself a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now to the plate now Kyle Tucker still one and two as he fouls it away from the stretch that's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Carlos Correa is on deck. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So two are gone for the Astros in the fifth. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And coming forward the veteran outfielder Robbie Grossman. 
This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Bounce to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the base is empty here with one away. Digging in now, Ramon Laureano. One and one, here it comes. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw on to first is in time, and Grinky's got himself two outs. In now, Sean Murphy. He singled his last time up. Now the three and two pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Josh Reddick. The one two. Late on that one as it's foul off to the left side. A swing and a ground ball to third. Chapman brings it in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Settling in now, Oledmus Diaz. He looked to bounce back like after it. striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. Now back, Kevin Martin Maldonado. At the plate, Martin Maldonado. Two and one. Four runs, nine hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. George Springer will be next. He's set and the three and one pitch. Finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Here's George Springer. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here now the 2-2. And this one gets away. And he is in there. They couldn't get him at second. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hit out towards second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. On its way is pitch number 75. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. 
So a good start to the inning for the A's as their leadoff hitter reaches base safely. The batter, number three, second baseman, Tommy. Into the box now. Tommy Lestella changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Next pitch will be an even 80 so far for Grinky. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held on to behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. So one gone for the A's in their half of the sixth. And up next, the outfielder, Stephen Piscotti. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Runners on first with one down. And again, a throw. And he'll dive back in safely. Granky ready now. The 1 1. Fouled off. A good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Matt Chapman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game, and he fouls this one off. Two out with the man at first. And it's fouled away. Here he comes again, 1-2. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Granky comes set. Here he comes on 2-2. Two and two. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Standing in now, Matt Olson fouled away. Set. Here's the 2 2. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Alex Bregman, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Right down Main Street caught him looking. Next will be the designated hitter, Michael Brantley. He enters this at bat one for two with a walk. The 1-1. One -one. He's in there for strike number two. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Lake making contact on that swing, and will do it again on one and two. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to, as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. The first base, number 10. So here's Yuli Gurriel. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Simeon's got it. And the off-balance throw will be too late, so a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. Stepping in now, Kyle Tucker. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to one and two. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And a good effort here, but he's well safe at first, and there are two on and two out now. The batter, number one. New pitcher coming on now, the right-hander Yusmero Petit. So now to the plate, Carlos Correa. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. 2-2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Yeah. 
last half of the seventh here and standing in is the DH Mark Canna it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one and a full count for Canna now three balls and two strikes great a B up until this point a walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup struck him out and he becomes the ninth strikeout the victim field. thus far for six and a third Granke still working on a shutout pulled high in the air out to right field Reddick giving chase he gets there and that's the second out So two are gone now in the Oakland half of the seventh. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. Now the 2-1. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll toss this one on to first as they're kept off the scoreboard again. And the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Josh Reddick. Cutter got up on him pretty quickly there, and it's back to even two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. fouled off here it comes popped him up Murphy shading to his right looks it into his glove and there's one gone and that'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz last time through was a base hit bases are empty one man out Runs away for ball two, two and one. Here's a topper fouled off to the right, and that'll even the count at two and two. Popped up. Olson waits on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. So two gone now in the Houston eighth and up next the former Angel Martin Maldonado. Back up the middle and that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. At the plate now George Springer. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. Olson is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Digging in Sean Murphy. He'll lead it off against Zach Greinke to open up the inning. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate. Marcus Semyon. He's two for three thus far. Now the one and one pitch. It's a fastball that misses. Grounder down the line at third. In time to first, and there are two away. Now to the plate, Tommy Lostella. He went down on strikes last time up. Two out, nobody on. Hard hit towards center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this will find the wall in the very deepest part of the yard. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now right fielder. Defense. 
at the plate. Stephen Piscotti. Mm, right down the shoot that time. One and two. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Here's a fly ball well hit. On the move is Springer. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. J.B. Wendelkin enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Alex Bregman. The 1-1. One -one. Hit in the air to center field. Loriano is right there, one down. Here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. One out, nobody on. This is line to left. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. Into the box now, Yuli Guriel, and he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Now another 1-2. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Into the box, Kyle Tucker. Outside, two and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Fouled away. Hit sharply toward the right side. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him to second for one. Coming to the plate now, Carlos Correa. And their runners at the corners now. Carlos Correa. Fouled off. Runners at the corners, two men out. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Would love to have a meeting at the mound right now with the pitcher. Don't understand that pitch down in him. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Jake Deepman comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. To the plate now, Josh Reddick. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. There's strike two as the hanging slider was let go. And he fouls this one off. Lined back over second. And that's going to be a base hit for Reddick. The batter, the second baseman, Aledmus Diaz. In now, Aledmus Diaz. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Three runs already home here. Hit out towards second. 
There is La Stella, and an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Brad Peacock, a six foot one inch right hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next will be the imposing power bat, Matt Chapman. And that one misses here as he falls behind the Oakland third baseman, two and one now. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Now batting, the first baseman. Standing in now, Matt Olson. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Springer giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So now it's Mark Canna. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, and they froze him on a good changeup. Tough one. If you got good arm action and this pitcher's. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Robbie Grossman. 1-1. Uh, one, one. That's out. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. First and second now, one man out. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now batter. A's down to their Double final two. out now. And digging in now, Ramon Laureano. Last strike now for Oakland. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. A 7 nothing shutout final today. Houston led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Zach Grinke gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Astros, seven runs on 16 hits, one error. They left 10.